Well, let's check back in with Melissa and a very mild temperatures throughout the area throughout the week. A little soggy, but still pretty nice. Yeah, that is one benefit to having these storms rolling in like we've already seen from last night is it brings in those clouds overnight, which helps to bring the temperatures up. But also that jet stream starting to drop to the south with uh, warms this up as well. Now, we did see a cold front move through that did bring in the rain overnight. Impressive rainfall totals over a short period of time. If you're out after 7 o'clock this morning or before about 3 a.m., you may have seen some of that heavy rain, which was coming down at a few hundredths of an inch per hour, which uh, isn't that much by our standards, but we just haven't seen anything like this in 2014 uh, and well before Christmas for that matter. Right now, we're seeing a lull in that precipitation as that storm does continue to lift to the north and to the east. A few showers here right in Eugene up north toward uh, Albany, and as you head further up into the northern part of the valley, we'll see a few isolated showers off and on this morning, but mainly uh, we'll get a break before that next storm rolls in later this afternoon. Did drop impressive amounts though here in the Eugene area at a quarter of an inch for us, nearly that much in Corvallis. Uh, the coast not seeing as much. In fact, North Bend, you've been dry two hundredths in Newport, but over a tenth for those of you near Roseburg. And again, we will continue to add to those rainfall totals here later tonight. It is mild temperatures right now about where they were yesterday afternoon. 41 degrees. It's 38 in Salem. Head out to the coast, even warmer, mid to upper 40s, 50 already in Brookings and even Central Oregon on the warm side at the start of this Tuesday, 41 degrees and bend and as you head over to Eastern Oregon. It's a little bit cooler, but they made it out of the single digits at least back into the low to mid 20s. So here's what we have going on for this week. And that jet stream is starting to drop down to the south as that little ridge that had been with us over the weekend and much of last week now starts to push further inland over the Rockies. On the other side of that, that's that cold Arctic air mass which has been affecting uh, most of the Midwest and the East Coast. So for us, pretty mild when the jet stream shoots in straight off the ocean like that. And then it also picks up those disturbances, those small storms that are developing over the ocean and brings them right here into Western Oregon. So we saw the first last night, second one moves in this afternoon. That's this cold front, which right now is just offshore. And then the next one to impact our weather will be this cold front, which right now is up in the northern Pacific. That will drop down from the north, keep the rain going for Wednesday. And then we have two more lined up after that one, which will continue to keep us pretty soggy over this next week. Taking a look at storm cast over the next 36 hours. Again, there's that next storm I've been talking about. That moves in in the second half of the day. We'll see those showers picking up here after lunchtime, uh, continuing through the evening mute. It's going to be snow over 5,000 feet tonight and they'll switch back to those isolated showers here for late tonight through Wednesday morning. Then we see that second storm come rolling in. There's that cold front. That one drops in Wednesday night, also keeping the rain going for most of Western Oregon and snow across Cascade Passes up into the ski resorts. And then the next storm, that one gets here Friday night, which will also bring in some heavy rain and also some strong winds with that one. So for the coast, highs today up 40s, low 50s. A little bit cooler for you overnight. You'll only fall to the mid 40s, though. So rather mild temperatures with those light scattered showers off and on. The Umqua Basin topping out the mid to upper 40s. It's upper 30s tonight. Also seeing those showers again picking up in the second half of the day. This is rain uh, above, uh, I should say, below 6,000 feet this morning. That drops to 5,000 tonight. Above that level, you'll see one to three inches. For Central Oregon, plain old rain, mild temperatures and highs in the upper 40s, and for the Valley highs in the mid 40s today, so mild temperature wise with those scattered showers picking up in the second half of the day. And here's that seven day again, staying parked right in the low 50s all week for the coast. Showers off and on Wednesday through Friday and then even heavier rain with those strong winds on Saturday. The Umqua Basin seeing scattered showers in the low 50s all week long. The Cascades finally getting some snow. That snow level drops to 4,500 feet Wednesday. Could see a foot there by the end of the week. And for the Valley again, showers off and on. It's going to be a soggy week, but our high temperatures warmer back to the upper 40s.